Hi, this is Sarah Levin, the Artful Inker. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I'm here to share three cards with you, beginner, casual, and avid, using the Wishes and Wonders stamp set. So let's get started. For this card, we're going to use the Wishes and Wonder stamp set. I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock and my Cinnamon Cider ink pad, and then this Pretty Deer from Wishes and Wonder. And I just want to lightly put some ink on. Let's stamp him and see whether I've gotten all of that lovely detail on his chest. He's really beautiful with all of this um, detail there. Let me close this up so I don't dip my hand in it. And then we're going to take our two and a quarter inch circle punch and line him up in here. And just give that a quick punch. And then let me put these aside and bring in my Stamparatus. I would use my Stamparatus if the only thing I bought it for was to line up sentiments, it was worth the purchase for me because I cannot be trusted to make sure that my sentiments are absolutely straight. That's why I love die cuts and punches, but when I'm going to stamp directly on my card, the Stamparatus is the trick for me. So we're stamping on one of the Whisper White note cards that comes with the note cards and envelopes, and that's real red. Just put that out of the way. Then I've got a strip of the Heartwarming Hugs designer paper, and it measures one and a half by five. So making this card for Christmas, you can send it to lots of people on your card list with just one pack of designer paper. And I think that's a, a plus when we start thinking about all the cards that we send. I'm just using my grid paper to see that I'm lined up. Okay, and then we'll bring this over our two and a quarter inch punch piece and put some dimensionals on the back. He's going to sit right there. And then I want to add just a little bit of bling with the Forever Gold laser cut um, paper. And we're going to take this sprig of berries for this card. However, there are lots of little uh, leafy pieces that you could use on these cards. Again, if you're making multiples. Let's put this out of the way carefully. And we're just going to bring that in and put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom here. You don't have to put glue everywhere on all of these berries. I know that sometimes people look at little things and think, oh, I've got to put adhesive everywhere, but you don't. It's okay to leave these bits loose. They're, I like the added texture that they add uh, when you leave them loose. Okay, and then let's take my hand away, and that's fairly centered. Okay. Oh, nope, we're kind of over too far to the right here. So we're going to move this piece over as well. Let's see if we can pull it up. Oh, nope, he's, he's where he's going to be, so that's okay. We're just going to move my deer over. Okay, just a, a smidgy bit. And make sure he's straight. Okay, let's put our card out over here. And then I've got one of the envelopes that comes in the note cards and envelopes. 
and I'm going to say this is mistletoe and let's put this under the corner here and I just want to stamp a second my old olive ink pad may be very inky and I just wanted to test that so we're going to stamp on the corner of the envelope like that and then let's flip it over and let's ink this again and I'm just lightly setting it on my ink pad not pushing it down in because there's lots of detail on this stamp and you don't want to fill all of that detail with ink okay so we've done the back flap and the corner of our envelope and this pretty little for the second card we're going to use the wishes and wonder bundle and that includes the wishes and wonder stamp set that we used on the first card and then the North Pole wonder dies now when you purchase as a bundle you do receive a 10% discount we're going to start with a piece of whisper white that I've cut with a tasteful labels die and my old olive ink and one of my water painters. I particularly wanted the one with the broader brush um, for two reasons. One, uh, it gives a broader brush stroke. I'm just squeezing some water down in here. And two, with two quick uh, brush strokes on this, then we're not going to be adding much, maybe three quick brush strokes. We're not going to be adding much water, so there won't be a lot of curling that happens as it dries. So we're going to set that aside and let it dry. And then we're going to move on to a piece of cinnamon cider cardstock and our cinnamon cider ink pad and then the lovely deer again, and I'm just touching this lightly. I think I've gotten too much ink on that, so I am going to stamp off and do that again. It was just looking too wet. Okay, whoop, let's flip him over. His right hoof did not get properly inked. So I'll just touch there lightly. Okay, he looks much better. And then I'm going to take this off screen a moment and cut him out and I'll be right back. Okay, so while I was away, I cut our deer and a piece of gold foil, also using one of those North Pole Wonder dies. And then this tag that's got this great little scallop and stitching along the bottom. Now, I did emboss that with one of the wrapped in texture embossing folders, but I wanted to preserve this scallop and stitching, and so I only stuck this in my folder part way. So let's set those aside. Now we want to stamp our sentiment. And I've got my Stamparatus, and here's one of my tips for doing multiples. Go ahead and die cut all of your tags. This is a perfect way to be able to mass produce. You can die cut the tags in one step, give them all a swish of the old olive in another step, and then come back and stamp them all in a step but you can do each of those steps all at one time. So that's real red ink. And then we're just going to come and stamp down here. Oops, need to move my little die up just a smidgen and give that corner a press for the rest of the word Christmas. Okay, so there's our sentiment. Let's stick this out of the way and we are just about ready to assemble here. So I've got a piece of Whisper White for the inside of my card. Let me just close up that real red and grab my Old Olive ink. And I'm going to use the, um, oh shoot, Mistletoe 
stamp here down in the corner just to give it a little something. We're just going to leave that open over here and hope I don't dip my hand in. And then I've got my old olive base. And this one is cut 11 by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half so that we get a little different opening. And let's add my multi-purpose glue. And we'll just stick this right on the inside here. Make sure that we're even all the way around. And straight would be good as well. Okay, close that up. And then I've got a piece of the Heartwarming Hugs designer paper. We used this on the first card. It is a pretty pack of paper, especially if you would like to stay with traditional colors for your Christmas cards. Okay, and then I've got the same piece. This is cut to one and a half by four. And we're going to leave the red stripe side up for a little bit of accent. Okay, make sure that's down. And then next we need our dimensionals for our tag here. Oops. And I'm going to put one in the middle. And then I've got a piece of that Forever Gold specialty um, designer paper, one of the leaves. And there are lots of leaves that you can use in that designer paper. Don't worry if you... Uh, if you're making multiples, feel free to cut apart some of the um, larger pieces that are full of leaves. Okay, and then we're going to add our gold foil piece. Lots of dimensionals on this. Or lots of dimension on the card, I should say. I do like dimension. We're going to Put that pretty there. And then let me find my mini dimensionals. We're going to need a couple of those up near the top here. And of course, we remember I stamped both sides of this. Oops, that's a little high. Okay, and then we'll put a couple of the larger ones here. And let's see if I've got another mini on here to put down on the legs. And then we're going to use my paper snips and just cut a piece of the border. Don't waste any of those pieces. They're all good. Okay, let's pull our backing off. Oops. at him. I just want to make my sure my card is straight at this point and set him on there. I was almost forgetting my sentiment over here. We need to add dimensionals to that. And see how that little bit of watercolor wash works there just to take the white off so that it's not just screaming out at us. And then let's add a little bit of ribbon to this. I've got this, let's see, it's a diagonal stripe in Mossy Meadow, but the Mossy Meadow works fine with the Old Olive and certainly with the little bit of Mossy Meadow in the designer paper. 
and we're just going to give this a little angle cut on the top and let's see how long this piece is oh I'm going to say that's about two inches long and then where did I put my dimensionals over dimensionals glue dots over here let's pick up a couple of glue dots with the ribbon oops did we get one on there some days I'm better at this than others and I want one in between okay and we're just going to stick this little bit right up here at the top of our tag as if we have tied that and then to finish this off I have one of the beautiful whisper white envelopes that's in the catalog and we're going to give it a little bit of decoration it's nice not to have naked envelopes particularly at the holidays and we're just going to do our mistletoe across the corner and then we're going to turn this around and in the middle of the flap here on the back we're going to add the mistletoe again and that makes a pretty card to send to your Christmas list. So let me clean up and we'll move on to card number three. Okay, and for this last card, we're going to use the Wishes and Wonder bundle, and which includes the Wishes and Wonder stamp set and the North Pole Wonder dies. And remember, if you purchase them as a bundle, you receive a 10% discount. We're going to start with our Seaside Spray card base and a piece of scrap paper. Now I've cut this one at four and a quarter by 11 and it scored at five and a half, just like our previous card. And I've got my light uh, Misty Moonlight uh, Stampin' Blends, and we're just going to do some splatter for the background on this. And flicking it into the cap, you just get a nice light spray. Let's go back up in this corner a little bit. And this is just going to lightly fill some of our border. So let me cap that up. We'll pop all of this out of the way and come back to it later. Next, we want to do a little stamping, and I've put the sleigh in my Stamparatus, and I've got a piece of Whisper White and my Seaside Spray ink, and the reason for putting it in my Stamparatus was I'm not sure whether I'm going to want to stamp this a second time, so we'll ink it once and stamp it, and I think I'm going to add ink two parts of it. So here along the front and down along the bottom and darken those bits up. Okay, and that looks pretty good to me. So let's take this out of the way. I need to die cut this now and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back with our die cut sleigh and then our deer that was cut from the silver foil paper. Don't you just love this embossing that comes with that die? So next, I have a layer for our card from the Snowflake Splendor designer paper and a couple of strips of silver foil paper. And we're just going to add those to the back top and bottom edge. So I'm adding some um, multi-purpose liquid glue right at the very edge. And I'm going to check and make sure that I'm straight and then give this a little press down and come down across this other edge. I don't normally add my glue right at the edge. So I'm being a little more careful and I want to do the same thing and flip this over because I just want it to peek out. Oop, 
Got a little high spot there on my paper. And one here. It's time to clean the track of my trimmer. And I just want that little bit of foil. So let's turn this over and turn it back over and make sure we I didn't move it because it felt like I may have. Okay, so let's start and put some things together. We have that seaside spray base again, and then I've used the winter snow embossing folder. You can find that in the August through December mini. And I've embossed just the bottom edge of my layer for the inside. And let me show you how I did that. So you're going to put your paper in, and I lined it up with the bottom of the Stampin' Up, and then I laid it down here on my grid paper to make sure that my top was straight. And then that will make sure that this line is straight in the embossing folder. And then you just put it through like this, rather than putting the seam through first. Okay, pop that back out of the way. Let's add some adhesive to the back of our inside layer piece. And pop this inside. I love the subtle detail of those snowflakes. Okay. And then this layer is going to sit flush on our cardstock. So give it some adhesive. Need to get some up here on that. Okay. And then we're going to put this down, and we've got that nice little splatter detail happening out from it. Nothing about this card is hard, even though it's avid. It's all the little details. So next, let me spot where I put my tear and tape. And I'm going to put a piece of tear and tape right here across the middle. And then I want a piece of, oops, and we'll add some of this uh, shimmer ribbon from the mini. But first, let me just give this a rub with my bone folder and use my take your pick and pull that backing right off and my end was not even so we're just going to even that up and lay this down now of course it's still sticky through the ribbon and that's okay we're going to fix that in just a moment just trim that off, put this one out of the way, and then I've got some Seaside Spray Shimmer Ribbon. Now this one is in the um, annual catalog, and let me just trim this little bit of frayed ribbon off the end. And we're going to put that right over that tear and tape. There's enough of it showing through that we can use the same piece of tape for both of our ribbons. Okay, and put our ribbon out of the way. And then next, I've got a piece of that Forever Gold uh, specialty designer paper, but we're going to turn this upside down and adhere it. So let me just put some dots of adhesive on here. Again, I don't think that you have to put adhesive on every single spot. A little bit of um, your layers, pieces like this being a little loose uh, is okay. The fact that they have um, 
that they're not just flat, 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 adds something to your creations. So we just have to touch around to make sure that everything that did have glue is now attached. Let me grab my dimensionals over here. And I'm going to pull in both the regular and the mini dimensionals. And I think I want one more down here. And I'm just going to set this into to place for a moment. And then decide how we're going to do dimensionals on this guy. I think he gets a dimensional up here, a mini up here on his head. And then I'm not going to put any dimensional back here because um, I'm going to lay him over top of our sleigh. So let me move that out of the way and we'll pull these off. Some days they just come right on off for me, and other days I fight them a little bit. Okay, and then let's pull these couple off and put a little bit of he adhesive on the back end of our deer here. And we'll pretend like he is pulling that sleigh along. I'm thinking maybe he needed to be a little higher. Let's see if we can fix that. Or whether with the delicacy of the laser cut paper, we might be right where we have to stay. And that's okay. Okay, so next... There is a die with the North Pole Wonder dies that cuts out all of these little circles. And I have cut them from the balmy blue glimmer paper. And I'm just going to put some dots of fine tip glue on my um, wreath. Let me make sure my, give my glue a, a poke here a moment and so just adding some dots of my fine tip glue and then before we add any more I'm going to use the putty end of my take your pick to help me pop the blueberries onto my wreath as a little accent. You can see just how easy this is. And I love that that North Pole Wonder die cuts 18 of these little berries in one go. So let's add a couple more here. And of course, when you're using the fine tip glue, you don't want to move things around. It uh, does dry shiny. So let's get that in my puddle right down here. There we go. And let's add another one here. Make sure that I'm actually up in the screen for these last few. And then maybe add a second one here. They don't all have to be singletons. And of course, I don't have to put all 18 on one, one card. Okay, so let's cap up my glue. And of course, got to make sure that needle is down in there. And put my cap back on my Take Your Pick tool. Let's move this out of the way and take my tear and tape out of the way. And then we're going to move on to the envelope. 
And as we've done before, we're going to add a little something to this envelope. Add a piece of scrap paper under the corner. And even though this one has snowflakes, we're going to stay with the mistletoe stamp in the Wishes and Wonder stamp set and do the corner. And then we're going to flip it over and do the back of the flap. Let's close this up. And then finally, I have used one of the envelope dies to cut a liner from the Snowflake Splendor designer paper to line my envelope. And I'm just going to put adhesive right up here at the top. I'm using the stamp and seal. And the reason you don't want to put adhesive all the way down is this paper needs to move a little bit. And so if we just adhere the top, whoops, it can't move if I've already let it stick. Let's, there we go. I want to get this below the gummed part of the envelope, okay? And then this will fold over easily when we close our envelope. And then it'll, because it's not adhered, it'll move up and down, no problem. So there is our final card using the Wishes and Wonder stamp set. Thanks for stopping by. Give this video a thumbs up. And if you've got card making friends, I would love for you to share it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell if you'd like to be notified the next time I upload a video. And of course, I always appreciate when you shop in my Stampin' Up! store. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great day.